Among what players criticized the most about Enderil, the lack of somewhat innovative mechanics in crafting was always on top of the list. While we have made several adjustments and also added new crafting skill mechanics, there is one very exciting feature which we would like to introduce today. The reason why we haven't written about this before was that we simply weren't sure if we would be able to make it. But as it turns out, we were. So here is the Phasmalist. As you can see, the Phasmalist is a new class that can be skilled through the meditation menu. He is what we call a crafting class. Why? Because, first of all, his effectiveness is strongly determined by his skill in enchanting. And secondly, because it's a class that requires a lot of preparation to be effective. In other words, it's a class for players who like depth and complexity in their builds. Here's how he works. The Phasmalist can craft soul trinkets. When equipped, a soul trinket can conjure a persistent ghost companion, an apparition, by using the Conjure Apparition talent. The apparition stays by your side, can assume different combat styles and can be fully equipped. More on that later. When it dies, you gain Arcane Fever, the amount of which is determined by the apparition's class. There are four classes, Rogue, Warrior, Mage and Hybrid and they all cause different levels of fever upon death. For example, a warrior or tank, who is likely to die often, causes less than a mage who works from the distance. The fever inflicted can also be reduced by learning certain perks from the Phasmalist tree and from certain affinities. So, how do we create a trinket? That's an interesting process. Throughout the world, Phasmalists will be able to hear so-called Soul Echoes. When nearby, they can use the Tapestry of Souls talent to see souls. To see stronger souls, you need to invest points into the talent. Once a soul becomes visible, it can be picked up as any regular item. There are five tiers of souls, one for each class, and they are hidden throughout the world, giving an additional incentive to explore. To bind a soul to a trinket, a Phasmalist workbench is needed. But since Phasmalism, as Psionics and Entropy, counts among the Forbidden Schools, these cannot be found in law-abiding locations. Quick side note, Entropy and Psionic spells can now also only be purchased from wild mages outside these law-abiding locations. The next step is to gather all materials required. All trinkets need a soul gem, ectoplasm and bone meal, plus some additional unique items in order to be crafted as well as a certain level in enchanting. And here we go! Now that I have the trinket equipped, I can summon the bound apparition at will. A nice feature as well, you can always teleport your apparition to you, even in combat. This can be used when it gets lost in a dungeon or even for tactical purposes. The hotkey is also assignable. Now, many of you might be asking, how customizable is my apparition? The answer is completely. Even though every apparition starts with custom stats and equipment, you can also equip them yourself. This process is called spectralization and can be done through the Phasmalist workbench. The basic principle is easy. The more powerful the item or the spell is, the more expensive it is to bind them to your apparition. The costs are always ectoplasm or bone meal and soul gems. Once done, your apparition will now use the assigned items in combat. Already bound items can also be despectralized, allowing you to use them again. There is also a stat menu that allows you to get a detailed overview of your apparition's stats. As you can see, health, stamina and magicka are modified. The amount of this buff depends on your enchantment skill and your value of that respective attribute. In other words, the more health and enchantment you have, the more health your apparition has. Now, for those of you wondering, yes, there are perks that allow the player to tinker with the apparitions and the player's attributes and how they depend on each other. Let's show a small demonstration. As you can see, the apparition stats are automatically displayed on the upper left 
allowing you to quickly react to the way combat is going. Ruga One Eyes health is critically low, so I will now use a new healing spell that causes a tiny bit of arcane fever but heals him up quite a lot. Next I will use Elixir, also a new light magic spell that buffs his stamina and health for a short amount of time. There are several new spells that go along well with the Phasmalist playstyle. For example, the mentalism spell Essence Gift allows you to boost up your apparition's mana at your own expense. Apparitions are also invisible when sneaking, so they won't interfere with a stealth playstyle. It's important to note that there are no restrictions in what you do with your apparition. If you feel like it, you can have your warrior cast spells, yet he or she won't be as good at it as a magic focused soul. And that about covers it! I hope you liked it! We are all playing this class right now and can assure you it's a lot of fun. Of course, there are new Phasmalist affinities with unique bonuses. Tell us what you think in the comment section. And if anything is still unclear, please ask. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next dev blog about the Forgotten Stories DLC.